Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now today we are back on the Patreon server, and we are on our saber that we like to use for cave taming here. And so what we are going to do is come into the central cave, um, and for anyone who's wondering where that is, uh, it's right here. Because today guys, in the central cave, what I really want to do is tame up either a Megalosaurus or an Arthropleura. Um, maybe both, we'll see. So I do have some bug repellent on me. Uh, I'm not wearing ghillie, but we'll see how we do with just the bug repellent. And I also have a few broths of enlightenment on me. So I'm gonna see basically um, how well we can do with what we've got here. Uh, we do have the saber, obviously, which is going to help a lot in terms of getting into the cave and dealing with the onyx and the scorpion and all the other things that uh, don't want to be cooperative here. Oh man, I feel like bug repellent should also repel scorpions. I'm not sure that it does. Um, I haven't put any on yet. We will have to do that. But either way, uh, this is the cave to find Megalosaurus, and it's also a very good place to find Arthropleura. Um, maybe not the highest level in the world, but uh, any Arthropleura is going to be good because their skill is kind of that they don't attract any aggro, so they're great for caving um, because you can kind of just slither through as long as you don't hit anything and you'll be able to get through a cave just fine. So that's kind of the goal for getting one of those is to have something we can kind of just slither through a cave on uh, if we don't really feel like fighting. Normally I like to finish a cave um, without... Basically without, um, I feel like it's almost cheating to not have anything aggro on you. So I do like to fight my way through them, uh, or speed run if I can, which is often very difficult, especially on mobile. Can you please? There we go. But yeah, uh, an Arthur player is still going to be really cool. Uh, they're still a very cool creature, and so I am interested in possibly taming one of those. Uh, there's one right there. We're going to kill this one because it's a little too close. Um, there we go. And we're a little bit too crowded to try to tame it from here. Oh no. He broke all my stuff. I hate Arthropleura for that reason. They do have that crazy, um, armor killing ability, which makes them a little bit OP in my opinion, but, uh, well, that's alright. It is what it is. Alright, so far they've all been really low level as well. That spit attack they do. It's the honestly the worst, but, um, we'll get it. We'll get it. Okay. How are we doing so far? We're a little hurt because the Arthropleura are evil, but not too, too bad. Let's go ahead and take a look here. I do have a whole bunch of taming materials on me, and I did also figure that we would get plenty of meat from running this cave if we run into a Megalosaurus, which I do not um, have any... I, I don't have any real expectations that that will be high level at all. Um, I'm just kind of expecting any Megalosaurus, uh, which should be just fine. All right, let's go ahead and kill a couple more things here, and then we should be getting very close to where the cave opens up, um, and so it might be a good time to actually use one of my bug repellents. Okay, I'll go ahead and eat that real quick. Oh man, I can't believe they broke my crown. I'm gonna have to go and fix that. Luckily, I didn't take a griffin over here. I brought an RG. Um, but still, kind of a pain. I don't like when I lose armor for <laughs> such silly reasons, because the Arthropleura, honestly, uh, killing it is not good. Um, that was weird. Whoa. Killing, killing the head armor isn't good in general. Killing the armor is bad. Um. Okay. I feel like we're lagging really, really badly right now. Um, and that could very well be the case. I haven't normally had quite this much lag. I've never not been able to harvest a corpse before. We did have a weird jump there a second ago as well. Oh boy. Yeah, I feel like I feel like we are getting some severe lag right now. So what I may do is um, see if I can find one more creature to kind of aggro, and if it is not able, I don't know, if we're having trouble hitting that, there we go. Okay, maybe we're okay. Maybe that one snake is just in a really weird spot. 
That could be the case as well. We might be okay. We might be okay. Okay, we'll keep going. Now, up here is where the Megalosaurus should typically spawn. If there is one at all. And if not, then that is okay. They are extremely rare. Um, you do have to pretty much run this cave like a ton of times to find them. I would have preferred a Megalosaurus over an Arthropleura tame today, but I will do the Arthropleura tame. Um, yeah, definitely not finding one. So let's go ahead and kill all of this stuff. And then there might be some Arthropleura back behind, because there is kind of a little area back behind the artifact where they really like to hang out. And so that's probably a good place to start looking. I might grab the artifact while I'm in here. We'll see. I'm more interested in the tame than the artifact um, at the moment. We are also super weighed down, so I'm going to have to, like, drop a bunch of stuff. Alright, well, that's all stuck down there, so that's good. Um, and we are very weighed down. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and... Dang it. <sighs> Thought I was free and clear, and then stuff comes out of nowhere. Comes out of nowhere. I was all ready to drop some items, and instead the Onik and the Scorpions managed to get themselves out. Caves. Ugh, caves. It's my own fault for coming in here. It's really not that bad. This is not a difficult cave. Um, it does, it gets a little more difficult when you're weighed down and can't really move, but uh, still not too bad. If you have a good saber, um, or a good wolf, or even a good, like, baryonyx or something, because you can fit pretty big dinos into the central cave. Uh, you should still be absolutely fine. They can't reach you. Very helpful. There we go, one more. Okay. So I'm gonna take a minute here and dump a few things, because I can and because I need to, otherwise I won't ever be able to move again. Um... No, I don't want to drop everything. I'll drop all the chitin. I would like to keep some of the meat on me just in case we do run into the creatures I'm looking for. Oh boy, more spider. Okay, can we, can we not? Let's, let's don't. Let's don't. Okay. All right, so that's one spider down. Um, let's kind of run slowly back over here kind of scope out the area. We are still doing bug repellent, but we are, of course, on the saber, so that's going to make a big difference in terms of uh, what we attract or don't attract. I'm not seeing any Arthropleura back here just yet. Um, normally, there are a couple sitting around in this area, so we might have to go a little further up in the cave as well. All right, let's check this out. Okay, can we... Ugh, Onik. I'd be pretty happy if I just didn't have any Onik in any cave ever. <laughs> they're just frustrating. They're they're hard to hit, they're always in a weird spot, and there's just too many of them, and there's no way to, like, not aggro them unless you're wearing really, really good ghillie, which uh, I am currently not. Even if I was, I'm still on the saber, and the saber's not wearing ghillie, so they would still aggro. Ugh, all right. Okay, so not having too much luck with the creatures so far. Um, yeah, and I am super weighed down, as I said before. So I'm going to kill this scorpion. And then I'm probably going to take a little break, guys. And I will bring you guys back uh, if and when we find an Arthropleura to tame up, hopefully in this cave. That was the idea. But um, I might visit another cave if I'm having too much trouble locating just the right one here. All right, there is a dung beetle as well. I don't mind killing that. Uh, that's an Arthropleura. And we are weighed down. Great. Oh, man. Dang it. I would have tamed you. You're only level 30, but I would have tamed you anyway, and now we don't have a choice but to kill you. I was nowhere near ready to, to take that guy on. Alright. Got too close. And we're weighed down. Alright, guys. So I'll bring you guys back in a little bit, um, hopefully when we've figured out exactly where we can find an Arthropleura that we're actually going to try to tame up, because uh, I'm probably going to have to get off of the saber to do it, which is a little bit nerve-wracking. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit, hopefully when we have found one uh, to tame. 
Okay, guys, so we're back. Um, there is an Arthropleura right here. Uh, oh my gosh, it's a little terrifying. So it is a level 95, which is not bad. Um, I am repelling bugs. So, oh no, that's not what I want. Let's not hit it. Okay, we've used a soothing bomb. Oh my gosh, this is super nerve-wracking. Arthropleura probably scare me more than anything else. Oh, we did it. Okay. Okay, so we have a level 142 Arthropleura. That was horrifying. Um, all right, let's come out of the cave here, little dude. Oh, man. So frightening. So, so frightening. But we do have ourselves an Arthropleura. I did manage it. Um, no gilly, just bug repellent. The trick was getting in an area where there wasn't anything else around uh, so that we could actually get this guy because if something else was attacking he would kind of just automatically aggro so it was a little bit difficult finding one that wasn't close to anything but a level 95 isn't bad considering that the max level is level 150 um and arthropleura are a little bit op anyway so i'm very happy with a level 95 let's see if we can get him out of the cave it might be a little tricky because i haven't actually made up the saddle for this guy just yet um, that is on my list of things to do because I wasn't sure what we would be taming today. Luckily, he has no trouble getting over all of the rocks. Here we go. Perfect. Okay. Um, yeah, he's coming. Oh, he's actually really pretty. Uh, I like that green. Okay. Uh, I might, I might potent dust him up a little bit. We'll see what we're, we're going to do with him. He's clearly having a little bit of trouble getting out of the cave here. But not too bad. So we did manage to get this guy tamed up um, in the central cave. And yeah, guys, it's a pretty good place to find him. If you can kind of get them isolated, you're you're obviously going to have a much easier time of it. Um, but yeah, so we got ourselves the Arthropleura. I'm going to go make up a saddle. And then I will bring you guys back in a little bit because we are going to take this guy out for a test run, of course. All right, so I will catch you guys in just a minute here. Okay, guys, so we are back. Um, I did go ahead and make up this Arthropleura saddle. I also repaired my helmet because, uh, well, I needed it. So there we go. We have our cute little Arthropleura, much less evil when it's actually tamed up in ours. So this is the basic bite attack. Um, it's like that. And then it's also got a spit attack like that. So... They are pretty great. Um, they're extremely slow, actually, although maybe it's just because I'm pretty heavy. I wonder if there's things I can drop off in the saber here real quick. Um, anything to kind of lighten me up so that he will have an easier time carrying me. Um, actually, you know what? Let's let's keep these just in case, but uh, we can definitely transfer the hide over, and we'll transfer a couple of meat over as well. I don't think they eat meat. I think they eat spoiled meat, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken. Um, maybe they do eat regular meat. Do they only eat broth of enlightenments? I'm not actually sure. I don't use Arthropleura very much because they're more of a PvP style mount. Um, but I'm pretty okay with them. So we're going to slither back into the central cave here because I do kind of want to check out this guy's abilities. Um, see what kind of damage we can do. See how well we do in terms of getting stuff around. Wow, they are so long that they're actually really, really awkward <laughs> to maneuver. Um, every time you turn, their tail kind of hits stuff, and it's a little bit strange. But, yeah, we are doing all right. Let's slither back down here a little ways. We should be coming up on one of the typical areas where we find creatures pretty soon here. I do kind of want to just see how well we can slither by here. All right, so nothing's aggro. That's actually kind of cool. Can we even touch stuff? Yeah, we can even touch stuff and it doesn't aggro. Uh, it's a little bit difficult to get around, but you definitely can do it. So, yeah, this is this is a super cool ability. Um, not going to lie, that you can kind of just wander past things and no one's going to mess with the Arthro because they're so crazy strong, even the low-level ones. So, yeah, guys, uh, if you have the resources to do it, definitely tame one of these guys up. Because they would be infinitely useful for getting artifacts out of caves. A little slow, maybe. Probably slower even than fighting your way through. 
And obviously you won't get the XP boost, but if you're just after the artifact, just after tributes, um, probably not a bad idea to use one of these guys. Can we slowly maneuver our way around here? Um, not even sure what I would level up on this guy, to be perfectly honest, because he has decent health. Um, his stamina is actually not the worst. Um, and yeah, I don't think they really need too much in the way of melee in general. Maybe they do, maybe they don't. Whoa. Did not mean to do that. Still no Megalosaurus down here, which is a little disappointing, but, um, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad at all. So I did actually go ahead and tribute the artifact from this cave as well. And yeah, didn't find, didn't have anything good. Just a bunch of chitin blueprints. Um, random things like that. Nothing that I super needed. Okay. So it is, it is super crazy that nothing aggroes this guy. We've kind of just wandered into this cave a little bit cheekily with uh, nobody, nobody attacking us. Nobody really noticing that we're here. I am kind of curious to test out how strong they are, so we might do that on our way back out here. I'm not going to grab the artifact again because it's it's really not that great. <laughs> um, this one, you just kind of get chitin blueprints, and I don't really need any more chitin blueprints. I have tons. All right, let's go back up here. I do kind of want to use the spitball attack. I know it's really only useful for armor, but I'm curious to see what kind of damage it does to creatures. Um, and yeah, I want to actually do some hits and see what we can do in terms of killing some things, because why not? Alright, can we get up here? Uh, there's another Arthro. I mean, the good news is, is other Arthros don't aggro if you have an Arthro, so I'm just going to ignore that guy. I want to fight something, but I don't want to fight another Arthroplera. Um, I've already broken my hat once today. Let's not do that again. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff up in this area. Quite a few things. Um, wait, where am I? Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Oh no. Can we? Yep, okay, we're good. We can very slowly sort of sneak our way around. Oh no. <laughs> I did not mean to get that. Um, and wow, it does have some screen issues I'm noticing. You have to be angled just right to get past everything. But still, not too bad. Like, the Arthroplera, obviously, this is very cool. This would be extremely useful in the ice cave. Um, the only issue I could see being that there are some parts where you have to, like, get over water, and that could be very, very difficult uh, with the Arthroplera. But for the most part, I think it would be a very easy mount to take in to most caves and to get through and, uh, get all of the items that you need, especially for the lava cave. This might be extremely useful, except that, again, there are some jumps that the Arthroplera probably can't make, but that's totally fine. It doesn't have to make all of them. Um, all right. I was going to fight a creature, and then I got very distracted and didn't fight a creature. Let's actually go ahead and level up stamina on this guy. It's not super necessary. Um, let's actually go ahead and level up just a ton of melee. Because I believe these guys can also damage metal walls. Now, I haven't tested that recently, but they're just a very good PvP mount in general. Okay, let's see if we can... Almost. Uh... There we go. Did aggro, finally. Okay, we're hitting... Okay, so we do a decent amount of damage. It's not a ton, but it is, it's all right. Um, and it's really, really hard to aim with this poison spitball attack. I will say that. Oh, you kind of have to be at just the right angle. There we go. So we did hit that one. But it kind of sucks because it's a really difficult angle in general to get. Um, so that is something to be aware of with these guys is that it's a little bit difficult to aim, um, especially since especially since in third person the camera can kind of glitch into the body, but uh, in first person it might not be too bad, except that I hate being in first person when I'm on any creature, so it's a little difficult. But still, very, very cool, very um, easy tame, actually, if you have bug repellent on and not a lot of other creatures in the area, that is the key. 
Otherwise, they are actually kind of a pain because they're hard to find and they aggro pretty easily. But yeah, get yourself some bug repellent, get yourself a broth of enlightenment, and get yourself an arthropleura, guys, because they are pretty awesome. Um, it is nighttime right now. And yeah, guys, I do think that that is just about it. I think that's going to do it for today's episode. So if you did find yourself enjoying this at any point, um, please do remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. Links to social media are in the video description down below, and I will catch you all in the next one. Signing off, this is The Iguana.